Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to fix this error in Git. Author identity unknown. Please tell me who you are. You might see this error during your first commit or after installing Git on a new computer. Let's see why it happens and how to solve it. Okay, here in the projects folder, I have a simple web app. Here we have index.html and styles.css. Now I want to create a Git repository for these. Open a terminal here. To create a Git repository, just run git init. Alright, it says an empty Git repository created in this path. Alright, first let's run git status to see what we have. Okay, here are our files and they are red okay it says use git add file all right git add and file name but we can use a dot and this that means all these files okay git status again all right here are our files in the staging area and they are green now and ready to be committed. Let's commit them. Okay, now run git commit dash m and a message in it. All right, it says fatal error, unable to auto detect email address, author identity unknown. Please tell me who you are and run these commands. The first is for the email address and the second is for the name. Okay, let's run this. All right. I enter my email address. and this my name please note that this email address and name are only stored on this computer and will be used for associating your identity with your commits and will not be used for registration or verification by any service but if it matches your GitHub account, GitHub will display it. But it's not linked to your GitHub account or any other account outside this computer. All right. Now let's commit again. Okay, done. And if git log, all right. You can see in it and the author's name and email address. Okay, as we run these commands with dash dash global flag, we actually stored the email address and the name globally on this computer. And we can use it for other Git repository on this computer. Okay, let's create another Git repository. I copy these and create web app to paste them here and open a terminal here run git init to initialize git repository git add dot to add all files and git commit dash m init all right, done. And if I git log, as you can see, the author is Ben and here is the email address. And we can change it anytime we want. Just run git config dash dash global user dot email and the new email. 
All right. And the same for the name. Okay, let's do some changes for new commit. I changed the page title back to the terminal and git status modified index.html add it and commit with message update page title all right, and git log. All right, here is the commit. And as you can see, now the author is dead. Now let's see where this data is saved to. If you are using Mac or Linux like me, you should go to your home directory. Or if you are using Windows, go to the user directory. And here, show hidden files and folders and here look for dot git config open it all right here under the user section you can find email and name you can edit them save it and if you run git config dash dash global user dot name without the input you can see current name and if I run it with a new input and back to the config file all right as you can see, it says the file that git config has been changed. And if I reload it, you can see the new data. All right, you can do the same for the email. Well, so far we've used the global flag. But we can do this more locally. Okay, and this .git directory appeared when I toggled to showing hidden files and folders and I will tell you what it is for in the next few minutes all right let me copy these files to create another repository web app 3 paste them open a terminal Get in it, add all files, and before committing, let's go to the dot git config and remove these configs. Save it. Now commit. As you can see it gives error and we need to run these commands again but this time we run it without the dash dash global which makes the configuration set only for this repository all right remove the global flag and change this to Spider-Man at Spider-Man's web dot com. And for the name, remove the global. Spider-Man. All right, and here in the .git config, we have nothing. But if we go to the repository folder and go to this hidden .git folder, here there's a config file. 
and if we open it and you can see the configs are here these configs are only for this repository all right now we can commit and get locked you can see spider-man here now let's see where this name and email show up on github let's go to github sign in i enter my username and password All right, create a new repository, choose a name for it, description is optional, and public, leave this default, create repository, all right, here is to create a new repository, which we have already done before, we need this part. First, add remote to our repository using this. All right. Then set branch name to main. But before pushing it, let me enable credential caching using git config dash dash global credential dot helper cache we can run this with or without global it's better to run it globally because you will need it for all your repositories with this you don't need to authenticate every time you push all right now push it Okay, now I need my GitHub username, so I enter it. And now it wants a password, but we can't use our GitHub password here. We need to go to the GitHub settings. Scroll down to Developer Settings, Personal Access Tokens, I choose Classic, and OK, generate a new token, Classic Token, choose a name for it, I enter, for example, my Ubuntu Desktop, alright, and this is the token expiration date, and check repo, for selected scope, it's enough for what we want. And leave these and generate token. Okay, done. Use this token as the password. Copy it and paste it here. You can't see it because the terminal makes it invisible. And hit enter. Okay, done. Now go back to GitHub. And if I refresh this page, all right. You can see Spider-Man's commit in it. But this is an unknown name. And you can choose any name. But if you commit as a real GitHub user, your account will appear here. So let's go to the config. and reload and you can see other configs of the repository here okay here under the user section i change this fake email address with my real email address that i have an account on github with it and my real name save it 
let me make a change here for a new commit. Git status. Okay, index.html modified. Add it and commit it. and push it refresh the page and as you can see it shows my github account as the one who made this commit